Here's a new book by uh, Rafael Milach. Um, another new book. He just had seven rooms out. This one is by uh, Rafael and um, Hilda Breitfeld, and I'm sure I didn't pronounce that right. I think Hilda is from uh, Iceland. And it's been published at uh, a Polish museum in Gliwice. And I'm sure I didn't pronounce that right either. But you know, what you gonna do? You can't possibly know all the languages in the world. Um, so this is what this looks like. You can see this is um, in the car with R. Well, you can't see this probably. If I get close enough, then you can see this in the car with R. It's the photographer and the text. And this is held together by um, uh, these these rubber bands, which I'm going to take off. And I'm one of those neat people, so this kind of stuff is kind of personally driving me slightly crazy, even though I like it. Um, but you know, okay, so this comes off, and it says 29 notes on photography, Iceland, and more. Um, okay, so this is the, oops, the actual book is this thing here. Right, I'm just going to show you this first, and then this is um, a poster that I'm not going to unfold. And you get the the back cover. Well, not really cover, I suppose, a board. Anyway, um, this is the book. So this is this is. You know, this is looks like apart from you know this slightly unusual format. It's a regular photo book. And it's a trip across Iceland that the uh, photographer did with the writer. And there are these uh, these texts here that come along the photographs. So this, I'm just going to read you the uh, the first text, which is kind of funny. Um, I do the driving. Regularly R notices something and asks me to stop. I pull over to the side of the road and wait while he takes pictures and I get bored. Traveling with a photographer is a bit like shopping with a girlfriend that wants to look at all the clothes and try everything on. A never-ending drag. Okay. And then you get photographs. And, you know, so it basically goes on like that with some text um, and the photographs taken along the road. These are, um, you know, I wouldn't call them Polaroids, even though probably they are called Polaroids. I think these were taken with a Fuji Instax camera. The uh, instant camera that still exists and that very few people use. I think it's just too perfect for people. I don't know. I'm actually thinking about getting one. I had one while uh, Polaroid was still around. Uh, Polaroids could still be made. But now that um, that's not really an option any longer and I'm not wealthy enough to afford paying tremendous amounts of money for eight pictures by the Impossible Project the Fuji Instax camera sounds like a pretty good idea, um, but I digress. So you can see um, that camera was used during the trip too. Oh, there we go, Instax Fuji film. So this is kind of a road trip um, by two people. One person is looking, the other person is writing. I like this idea. Of course, this idea also not new. There's Magnums, uh, whatever they call this, postcards from the road or postcards from America, with uh, I don't know five or six photographers and a writer. I haven't seen the uh, box that they made. But I like this. This feels like a like a good way to to present something like that. It's uh, contemporary. 
Now these here might be uh, iPhone pictures with some filter or some app. Uh, who knows? But why not? Oops. See, this all this all works together rather well, I think. You know, you can you could imagine that you just have one or the other, but putting it all together and then making it work. That's no easy feat, and I think this works pretty well. Suppose this is um, the journal that the photographer kept. low here with my presentation. So there's much more to see. I might just not go through the whole book, given that we're already six minutes into this presentation. But um, I quite like this. Um, I don't know where and how this is available. I haven't done the uh, the uh, online research. I got a copy in the mail, but I hope that this will be widely available. I have a feeling that a lot of people actually like this this uh, this book, the way it's put together, the way it uses these different formats of photography on you know, somebody else's hair, apparently, um, the way it's presented. That's not a mistake. There's a little text here, R snores. Now whether or not you like the photography, you know, you have to just decide about that. Uh, I can make that decision for you and I won't. But it's an, it's an attractive package, I think, and it's done well. I enjoy seeing the photographs and I you know, really like the text and the interaction. So as I said, I'm not going to show you the whole thing for time reasons, but I think at the very end it says something about... Oh, okay, so this is printed in an edition of 700, and there are 450 in English and 250 in Polish. So I'm assuming the uh, English ones will be sold online in some way. As I said, the publisher is the museum in Gliwice. Um There's the website. So uh, I suggest if you're really interested in this book, just Google uh, or Bing, you know, with Google becoming evil now, maybe Bing it, uh, this book by Rafael Milach in the car with R. This is this new book. And then put it together, put the rubber bands on later, in the car with R by Rafael Milach.